Hello, my friends. In this video, I'm going to create a new application that uses implicit intents. So the user will click an, on a button and it will direct him to open a new web page using the available web browsers on the system. So you want to be a professional Android app developer, but you don't know where you should start, what things you should learn. You came to the right place. Welcome to our top bestseller Android app development course, a comprehensive program designed to equip you with the skills and knowledge required to excel in the exciting field of Android app development. So let's start creating this project and the activity. I will name it as implicit app. I will use the language Kotlin, click finish and wait for Android Studio to configure its project and libraries. So we use the implicit intents in order not to navigate and use inside the components. So the implicit intents invokes the component of another application to handle the request. It does not specify the component name specifically. So if I need to navigate to google.com, I'm not going to specify, hey, I'm going to use Chrome, not Opera browser or Firefox. No, this type of intents just to specify the request. Okay, not the, uh, the component specifically. Okay. Let's go and create here in the main activity. I will drag it up. I go to split mode. No, new, no other uh, activities. Welcome to implicit intent app. Okay, the size will be 32 SP and the gravity would be center. I prefer using the center. Okay, now I will drag and drop or I can write a new button here, wrap content, wrap content. The ID would be, ID would be BTN and the text go to Google. Okay, I will drag this button here and I will click on this button, infer constraints. Okay, so back to the main activity. I will specify here the button. So var or var btn of type button, alt plus enter to import the package of the button equal find the view by id .id .btn. okay so btn dot set on click listener and i will pass directly the it this is uh, the iterator uh, anonymous class for the uh, set on click listener interface now i need to use the intent so i will create intent equal to intent and I will pass intent dot action view action underscore view parameter okay sometimes Android Studio will generate some unexplained errors so make sure to make a clean build and everything will work fine Okay, so here I am preparing the intent, I'm preparing the system that I'm going to make a view and I will direct it to another, to another application. So intent, please pay attention guys, set data I'm you going to use an URI.parse, later on we'll see the URIs in details, but please concentrate with me on this example on intents. HTTPS, I will specify here the link, google.com. 
Okay, and then as usual, when using intents, we use start activity method. Int. Here, I am telling the, the system to uh, open and, and browse this link in any of the available browsers. So let's run this project and see what happened. What happens in the emulator system. So waiting for the emulator. And we, here we go, we have this button. If I click it, it will direct me to google.com through the application Google Chrome, which is available on this device. If you install Opera or Firefox browsers, if you click on go to Google, it will pop up in a, a menu or a dialog that asks you in which browser you need to open your link. So this is the implicit intents in Kotlin. I hope you understand well. Later on in the next videos and the next applications, we'll use the intents much. So pay attention, keep up with me, and please, please, guys, rate us five stars on Udemy to support us making new videos and new tutorials and keep updating this course.